Hi there everybody. In today's video I'm going to be uh, changing the um, oil, oil filter, air filter, pollen filter um, on this uh, Mercedes uh, B170. This is a 2006. I'm also going to be topping up some screen wash fluid and uh, checking the coolant level and uh, antifreeze percentage. Now, um, before I start, just uh, have a quick look here at the manual. The manual says um, this car takes 5 litres of oil. This is the B170. And this is engine with oil filter, so changing the oil filter as well. Five liters. Um, obviously, check your manual for whichever car um, you have, if you have the V150 or so on. Um, the other thing is uh, they recommend 5W30 as well. So, but it depends on the area where you live and the, the temperatures really. So where I am here in London, the 5W30 is uh, quite a good oil for our temperatures. Um, also, just show you the uh, parts I'm going to be using. That's the pollen filter there. It's uh, that make. And the part uh, number is E1918LC. The oil filter. It's a Malay one, OX382D, and the air filter is this one here, E612L. And uh, with that, with that said, I'm going to start by topping up some uh, screen wash fluid that goes here. Uh, that seems to be pretty full anyway, but we'll top it up a little bit. You can buy uh, screen wash fluid from any garage or any petrol station. You can get ready mixed one or concentrated one and mix it yourself. I wouldn't recommend putting any washing up liquid mixed with water because it becomes very jelly like and then it blocks the jets. Now I'm gonna be checking up the coolant level and antifreeze percentage and that will be on that container there at the end. Now from here I think we can already see that um, the coolant may be a little bit low but this car has been running so sometimes some pressure builds up and pushes that down um, so, and it's also a bit hot so be careful when you open that cup okay so if, if your engine's been running, like I said, uh, it will be very hot, so be careful when opening that. You don't want any hot water jumping at you, even though those little caps are made out for safety. Um, I'm still always careful. Um, now, once I took the cup off, you may have noticed that the coolant went up a little bit to the normal level. The level would be where that um, black area of the tank meets the clear, so that would be the max just here that's our reference point point. 
and uh, I'm gonna use this uh, little gadget here to measure the percentage of antifreeze. Okay, so that's uh, showing me around minus, I would say maybe it's around minus, it's showing minus 40, but it's probably minus 35 or so. Basically what that means is that uh, that liquid, that antifreeze, will not freeze um, unless it's minus 35 degrees and uh, that might not happen here in the UK anytime soon, hopefully anyway, <laughs> otherwise we'll freeze to death. Um, and now I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna change the, the air filter, the air filter is uh, here. or a T25 it's just uh, the markings on this are gone yeah T20 will uh, I think this is a T20 get those two uh, screws out lift this cover up remove the filter then uh, that's not too bad but we still have to change it just get your new filter in there A little fiddly, but it's, uh, it's not a difficult uh, filter to change. Uh, now I'm going to move on to the doing the pollen filter. That will be up there. Just have uh, three clips here. Pull them towards yourself. And then you unlock it from these points. Then on the sides there is two little uh, plastic like clips that are holding on the side. Just need to pull them open. Remove the filter and uh, also note the 
direction of the arrows, the air flowing this way into the car. So just make sure you fit the new filter the same way. So this is a different make, but uh, you have the arrow there. And we wanted to go in this way. And then uh, the way we fit this cover, it says, you might see the word push there. So we fit this end first, and then we push the bottom. And that's pretty much it with that. So now we can move on to doing the um, oil and the oil filter. Um, the oil filter is sitting up here, well it's sitting behind the engine really. So but, um, in the meantime, just before I remove that filter, I'm just going to open this oil filler cup and I'm just gonna let it sit there and I'm also gonna pull the dipstick open just to allow some air into the engine while we drain the oil Okay, so I just want to show the where the filter is, and uh, it's basically down there. That's the little top. The top bit. So we need a 27 mil for that, and I'm gonna be using obviously my ratchet with a long extension just making sure that sits in there nicely and then we can open the filter that shouldn't be too tight really I can just about get my hand on there. Now if the if we leave the filter to sit there for a couple of minutes, it will drain uh, the oil so once we pull it up we won't make uh, too much of a mess here which uh, sometimes can be a bit messy so we wait just a couple of minutes okay so I'm gonna um, pull the filter now that's our filter there and we can obviously pull that out and dispose of this. Now in the kit you will have uh, this whole ring here that you can remove and there's also a small 
o-ring that goes around here and uh, I think that is for when you put your socket in here it sticks in there and then you can pull this out together with your socket if you can get your hand down there obviously but um, in my case obviously I, uh, I can do it so these are the new o-rings this one can put in there and this is the other one that we can put here like so and the new filter just pushes in there and that's pretty much ready for us to refit but I won't be refitting it yet until we drain the oil and I'm also gonna add a little bit of multi-purpose grease to this or you can add a bit of oil just so when it, this goes in and you screw it on it just uh, adjusts itself nicely okay so I'm gonna get the car up now and we can drain the oil I uh, would also recommend you to if you're working outside make sure you don't leave this out of it or something may go in there or also put a little bit of paper on top of the oil filter down there because the it is open at the moment and you don't want anything flying in there any leaves or any dirt or anything because then it makes your job um, an extra two hours longer trying to fix things that we can avoid um, alright so get the car up now okay so looking at the car from underneath um, I'm just sitting a little bit back while well, I'm standing <laughs> a little bit behind um, we can see the sump plug well the sump is there right next to the exhaust and the sump plug bolt is just there it's a 13 mil and uh, also get yourself an oil pan and remember that if the engine has been running and the oil is very hot you can burn yourself so just be careful now uh, if you find that uh, the little copper washer is uh, is damaged or you know it's been squished too many times um, like mine was I'm gonna replace it and this is the replacement it's a blueprint and that's the part number ADA 100105 for Mercedes-Benz and that's the little copper washer there that'll be the right one the one that fits basically this um, sump plug uh, bolt so you can order that if you need to but that, uh, that fits nicely in there And now I'm just going to let that drain between 5 and 10 minutes and we'll come back to it. Okay, that's been uh, leaking for a while now. That's it, um, just clean the area a little bit. Um, that way we don't get confused with any oil leaks and uh, now I'm gonna lower the car and we can top up some oil and obviously refit our filter okay so now I'm gonna be refitting the filter before uh, topping up some oil and um, as we already know it goes behind the engine
so go to there. So I screw that on a little bit um, by hand just to make sure it's going in the right way. We don't want to force it in if it's twisted or anything. So. On top of that little cover it says 25 Newton meters and you can tighten that to 25 newton meters if you have a torque wrench in my case I have been, well I do have one but it's, it's not working properly so basically what I do is once I get to the to that point which I've been, I've been doing very lightly now it's, now it's closed I just give it an extra twist and, and that's it really So that filter just shuts uh, quite nicely, with it. it doesn't need to be over tightening or anything. So now I'm going to top up some oil. Um, as we already saw, this particular B70 takes 5 litres. And I'm using Castrol 5W30. We can quickly check the dipstick. So the dipstick has got a minimum and a maximum mark. The little arrow is there showing you the max point just by between this plastic red and the metal and the minimum is also just there. So minimum, maximum. We aim to be at the max if we're just uh, servicing the car. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're just a little bit above the, the max there, just on top of the, the arrow. Uh, but that's about right because some of that oil will go into the oil filter ha um, housing. Okay, so that's just settled there, just a little bit below the the max. But uh, obviously, if you if we wait another five minutes for the oil to to um, go all the way down, then uh, that will be at the max.
so that's pretty much it for today and obviously don't forget to subscribe if you find my videos helpful thank you for watching